What is up guys, this is Kiran here, welcome back to Tech Kiran YouTube channel, Corvus OS V12.0, Athril version, official version based on Android version 11, is now available for a lot of devices, Redmi Note 8 in my hands and I will install this Corvus OS V12.0 latest version, I'll provide you in the link in the description for all the supported devices, you can install this and this build is honestly great. The performance, battery backup, smoothness, features, everything seems to be great and working here, which are the new features you get here and how this room going on i'm going to share the battery backup stats for my device like redmi note 8 and also the performance is just great safeness status is passing a lot more things in this video stay tuned and make sure to watch this till the end let's get started Guys, here we have the list of official supported devices for Corvus OS V12.0. These are the supported devices, Rafael, Bijonia, Wired, JD2019, Leco S2, Kingo, Tissot, Violet, XOOTD, Echeleta, Fazita, Wayne, Jasmine Sprout, and Wins. And also we have some newly added devices which includes Mia Toll, which means Redmi Note 9 Pro, Redmi Note 9 S, Note 9 Pro Max, and Poco M2 Pro will receive Corvus OS V12.0 very, very soon soon kenzo and redmi note 3 realme x2 realme 1 kernel 2 and tioli which means redmi note 6 pro all of these devices which might get corvus os v12.0 very soon these are the devices which are officially already supported and from these of these from these of the devices some got this latest v12.0 update already and some are getting very very soon so i'll put the link in the description for all these supported devices stay tuned now let's take a look at uh, these features which you get in corvus os v12.0 the first big change which you get in Corvus OS latest v12.0 is the Ravens launcher is now the new by default pre-installed launcher. This is not the quick step launcher. This is not the pixel launcher. This is the Ravens launcher. You can simply move on to the settings options by going to apps and notifications and going into default apps. You'll be able to see, sorry for that, default apps and you'll be able to see home app is the Raven launcher is pre-installed. It also includes some bunch of new features which we're going to talk about later. But first of all, talking about the smoothness, the room is honestly quite, quite, quite smooth. Yes, I'm using for some time. This is quite fast and I honestly didn't use any room better than this one in the terms of smoothness. The touch response is quite good. These are the things which you get here and Raven Launcher is pre-installed. Talking about the quick settings seems to be same here. Even you can see the full screen gestures, navigation gestures, everything seems to be working fine here. In my case, the full screen that navigation bar pill is hidden from here, which you cannot hide by default. But for this, you need to apply a magic module. I have a video on that one too. Make sure to check it out. And talking about a safety net status. By default, safety status is not passing, but in my case, I'm using Magis V21.0 and in my case, I have installed this Magis Hide Props config. This video is also available. If you are still not able to pass the safety net status, you can check out my video and you'll be able to check out that how you can pass the safety net if it is not passing for you. And for that navigation bar pill, which is not available here for this, I have installed this module called Full Screen Immersive Gestures so that you will not see the pill here, which I personally don't love to use. That's why. Swiping right, you see this Google uh, Google Pixel feed, which was expected. If you install the Google Apps build, then you will see these kind of things. In my case, I love to use the Google Apps build for this device. It's the both of the builds are available. Vanilla build and Google Apps build, both the builds are available. So whatever things you want to choose, you can simply choose that one. So as you already got to know that I'm using the Google Apps build. So that's why all the apps like Google Phone and Play Store and all these apps are pre-installed and available here. By default, in my Redmi Note 8, the camera go, which is Google Google Camera Go Edition is pre-installed. You can see here which is of course working and working fine here but in my case I'm using this Gcam. You can also use this Gcam. I'll try to provide a link in the description for this Gcam if you need that. This one is Gcam 7.4 and which is working fine. This is Gcam 7.4 by Parrot if I'm not wrong by going to About app. This is yes Gcam 7.4 by Parrot. You can simply install it from the official website also if you want to or else I'll try to provide a link in the description. The default wallpaper is is damn looking cool i just love this wallpaper by going to styles and wallpapers we have on device wallpapers options only a single wallpaper is available as expected but you can simply use the styles and wallpapers here and you can apply the wallpapers if you want to some clock styles options are available like the type and log bubble samsung board whichever one you want to choose you can simply choose that one also it includes some bunch of new extra things some extra features let's take a look at all those features one by one first of all settings we already know 
know that Ravens layer and Ravens theme is by default at the top of the settings. Sometimes whenever you open your settings app in your device, in all of the devices, but other things seems to be same here. No extra things. Even if you get the Xiaomi parts, we have in Redmi Note 8 the display color calibration. You can check out the KCAL and you can customize that. And other things, Mi Sound Enhancer, as expected, kind of a same thing. System about phone, everything seems to be same. Security even includes the face lock, but does not include the app lock. But face lock is there. Some guys use that, some guys don't use that. In my case, I'm just trying and it's working fine here. Talking about the battery stats, in my case, almost three hours of screen time from 50%. I was using, I started my using my device from 50%. It's now 24%, so only 26% of battery drainage with three hours of screen on time. Honestly, it's quite great. I know that there's no gaming and no 4G net, but you can see Volti is there, which means 4G networks are going on. And still, if three hours of battery, three hours of screen on time with a 4000 mAh battery, is quite good performance is great and this kind of performance with this kind of battery backup is honestly great talking about the features which you get here let's take a brief look at these features i was there include notifications and miscellaneous features are kind of the same but it includes some extra options like if you go for the icon manager here we have now volti and Vo wi-fi icon customizations options available which were not present in the previous builds but now you get these kind of features available here like the volti icon customizations includes the oxygen os 10 emui miui 11 hdcaf volti asus hd volti oos volti icon and Vo only some Volti icon customizations include this. Vo Wi Fi icon also includes some customizations. Oxygen OS, Motorola, Asus, or EMUI. If you want to choose them, you can simply choose them. The bug which I noticed in my Redmi Note 8 is you can see there's a, these are rows which are now enabled three. And if I'm going to choose by going here, by clicking here, and if I go here, and if I click the max row, you can see I've enabled the two, but still the rows are three. I don't know why if I enable the three, it's already three. And if I go for choosing the maximum rows to two, it's still three. So this might be a device specific bug, but this thing which I have noticed so far, other things seems to be same here. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, etc. Et was working fine. It didn't got any major issues. Volti and Vo Wi-Fi icon both are working here. You can simply use them and data disabled icon. You can simply enable or disable or whatever you want to choose. Traffic indicators options are also available if you want to choose them, but I don't use. I always use a third party app for that. Quick settings include some customizations. Quick setting tint style, which was not available in the previous update of Corvus OS Android version 11 based battery options also include same kind of things if you go here we have the buttons and power menu related things just include a little bit of things screenshot and screen card also includes the advanced power advanced restart option by going here you can simply click here it will be able to advance this system recovery bootloader and fast boot D in my Redmi Note 8, there is no dynamic partition, but still it's showing as fast boot D. So something very interesting available here. Other thing seems to be same. No extra things here. You can see here, Ravens theme include the ASIN picker, which was not available in the previous build. Font type has very cool kind of fonts options available, which you can enable them if you want to. Google Sans, one of my favorite one is also present. Icon shapes, status bar, quick setting icons, quick setting header style, and also include the switch style, which were not present in the previous build. So some new kind of things are already present in this build. All these things I just want to show you are available here. You can simply give it a try. The link for this build is in the description. This is quite great build in the terms of performance and battery backup. You should definitely give it a try. This is all. Thanks for watching and goodbye.